I can already feel the dislikes coming in because today we have a very controversial topic as you guys have obviously seen from the title because today we are talking about PS4 versus Xbox One and how Xbox are handing out L's to the PS4 but just hold your dislike just for a minute. So if you guys are new it would be greatly appreciated if you could hit that subscribe button. I only usually gain like 5 subscribers from normal videos but when I get a video that hits like 20k views I usually get like 200 subs so I honestly never know how many subs I'm going to gain from a video but without further ado let's get right into the video. So as you guys may or may not know Sony have had a lot of criticism come their way over the last couple months specifically because they are not allowing cross-platform play between PS4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. Now Xbox One and Nintendo Switch are allowing this and there's a lot of positive vibes around that but because Sony have denied it they have been receiving a lot of negative criticism and it's all around been a bit of a negative community on the Sony side. I'm sure you guys can agree with at least that part of the video because a lot of people in my previous comment sections on cross-platform videos about how cross-platform eventually is going to come, just we don't know when. Sony has saying they're working on it. A lot of people on that video were hating on Sony like anything, and I'm pretty sure these people, well, I know these people were PlayStation players, and a lot of them were saying that they want to get an Xbox. Um, I know a lot of you guys are probably going to disagree with what I've just said there, but that's what a lot of people were saying. So, because they've denied this, there's already a lot of negativity surrounding Sony, and now Xbox have just came out with another W and handed a massive L to Sony because they have just announced Modern Warfare 2 for backwards compatibility. That is right, if you owned Modern Warfare 2 on the Xbox 360, you can just put your disc into your Xbox One, play it with your whole account there as you left it eight years ago. That is right, one of the best Call of Duties, arguably, I know there's tons of different opinions on that, um, one of the best Call of Duties is coming to Xbox One, and it is so hyped up at the moment. The, on Twitter, it's going crazy. People are so hyped, and then everyone in the comments on Twitter is like, oh, Sony, fat, fat L, because they are missing out on a big opportunity for backwards compatibility, but they can't do it. I'm pretty sure it is physically impossible. Well, I don't know about impossible, but it's very hard for them to enable backwards compatibility which is one of the Xbox One's biggest selling points I would say because backwards compatibility is probably one of the biggest features that Xbox has over Sony if not it is like Sony definitely don't have a feature that's better than backwards compatibility on their console and Xbox have just taken a massive win with this one because at the moment their console is far superior to Sony now that statement is going to make you guys drop the dislike button, but I'm going to explain for a bit. Hold your dislike. Hear me out. You might hate Sony by the end of the video and want to buy an Xbox. Just hear me out. So, obviously, Xbox One X is out and the PS4 Pro is out, and the Xbox One X is superior. There is no doubt about it. You cannot argue it. It is facts, okay? It's like how when the Xbox One and the um, PS4 came out, the base models, the PS4 Pro was better, like graphically. Personally, I bought the Xbox One for certain exclusive games and other capabilities that it had that I guess other people didn't want. I don't know, I'm not going to get into that, I've already talked about that before. But at the moment, the Xbox One X is the superior console because it does 4K 60 frames per second. The PS4 Pro only does 4K 30 frames per second or 1080p 60 frames. So, that is another big win Xbox currently has over PlayStation. And I can, at the moment, if you are in the market to buy a console, I cannot think of a reason besides some trashy single player exclusive games. Now, that statement's going to hurt a lot of people who are watching this video because Spider-Man's coming out and I guess I can make an allowance for Spider-Man and maybe like one or two other games, alright? But at the end of the day, I'd prefer Halo over all of them games, alright? So just shush, shush, don't hit me with them as Spider-Man comments and all that, alright? Anyway, Xbox One X 
is currently the console to buy if you are in the market for a console. They've also just announced in America only that you can buy an Xbox One X on a plan like you would for your phone. Now you might be thinking, Why, what's the point of this? Well, I believe the Xbox One X retails at about $500, do not quote me on that, but it's more than the PS4 Pro, understandably because it is the better console. Now, obviously a lot of people might not be able to afford this, so Xbox decided to set up a plan for the console. Good thinking. So it is $40 a month until you pay it off, which is pretty cool because you don't have to pay up front you only have to put down that $40 for the month. So that is another big win for Xbox because a lot of people probably won't want to pay for a full $500 up front. So Xbox decided to put it on a plan. Another big W there. So unless you are really concerned about that extra $100 or how much it is from the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro, can you please list a reason in the comments to buy a PlayStation 4 at this moment in time. Now, I know, I don't think many people will be thinking what I'm thinking right now, but one thing that I am mad about that PS4 does have that Xbox doesn't is the console exclusivity when it comes to Call of Duty maps. Now, this could be changing this year, we're not sure, but at the moment, Sony have got it and it's really annoying me because I bought my Xbox when Xbox had it, so it seemed like the right decision. Anyway, if I don't want to get into that. We're going a bit off track. The main point of this video is to talk about how Sony have been just copying major L's and the community in general is outraged about how many things Xbox are doing to innovate their console and Sony aren't really doing much, right? Xbox just announced Modern Warfare 2 backwards compatibility. Now, every Call of Duty game from the 360 is backwards compatible. They want cross-play. They are doing it with Nintendo Switch, but Sony are denying it. So, if you're in the market for a console, I can only suggest an Xbox One X or an Xbox One S. But, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about today. So, if you guys have enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. We are on the road to 1.5K subscribers and leave a comment. I want to see as many comments on this video as possible because it's a big talking point and Sony need to make changes. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.